Hey y'all, it's Durrell. I'm coming to you live from Durrell and Durrell Ann's house in Broadway, North Carolina. Uh, Durrell Ann ain't home from work yet, so I get to be inside. I have to go outside when she gets home on account I get on her nerves. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just walking around talking to you while I'm looking outside making sure she ain't coming in because uh, she probably wouldn't take too kindly to me showing y'all around my house. So anyway, Big success last week with all the video uh, video uh, information that we got out there about the Ellens. And, uh, well, we uh, decided we'd do another video this week. Somebody, a uh, bunch of the audiences said, hey, we want to know more about you, girl. What are you about? So let's answer some questions from the audiences. Uh, number one, he says, Daryl. That, and that's, I shouldn't even answer that question. My name is not Daryl. It's like spitting in my eye when you call me Daryl. My name is Daryl. D-U-R-L. Daryl, you have become a pretty popular guy with your alien report. Do you have any political aspirations? Well, at this point in time, I don't have any political perspirations, but if I do, I will probably run for office somewhere around the Broadway community. Thank you for your question. The second one, and this lady got it right, says, Daryl, you have lived a very exciting life. What has been your greatest accomplishment? Well, that was easy. In 1994, I got the opportunity to meet the greatest band of all times, Molly Hatchet. I was working as a bouncer in this club, and the lead singer of Molly Hatchet says, Hey, hey, Daryl. He didn't say Daryl. He didn't say Daryl either. He said, Hey, you, give me a ham sandwich. So you know what I did? I got him a rockin' ham sandwich. I got him an awesome ham sandwich, and it was rockin'. And he said, hurt it in your love song. He did all that, man. It was awesome. Molly Hatchet. Molly Hatchet, they're getting back together, probably. What has been your biggest disappointment? Finding out that the Simpsons were not real. Uh, what is your greatest fear? Y'all, I'm going to stop walking right now. If Daryl Ann comes in catching me, she's just going to have to catch me because this is the most serious thing i got to talk about. My biggest fear, there's two things, and if you combine them into one, it just makes my head spin. It's so scary. One is Chucky, the little doll. He walks like this. Chucky in outer space. Can you wrap your head around that? If Chucky was in outer space, no one could hear you scream. And he would be chasing you. And an old girl, he'd be screaming like crazy, y'all. That scares me so bad. Uh, a genie pops out of a bottle and grants you one wish. What do you wish for? Um, I would wish for a lucky rabbit's foot. That way, Durrell would have great luck everywhere he goes. It'd be a great deal. Uh, what is your favorite pastime? I do not understand the question. So we will go on to the next one. What are your hobbies? I like to work in the garden. That's my, my, that's my, that's my joint. That's my deal. Uh, the garden is my happy place. I also love NASCAR. I got nine children, all named after NASCAR drivers. We'll talk about them in another episode. And uh, I also, I am the biggest Carolina fan in the world. Everything Carolina. Uh, and basically, everybody that pulls for Carolina looks and talks just like me. We're like one big happy family. Go Carolina, brothers and sisters. Um, if what do you want to be when you grow up i would like to be an endocrinologist or a brain surgeon or something like that um if you could meet the president and ask him one thing what would it be what's up uh and finally if the aliens come back and take everyone away what would you like your final words to be bye y'all <laughs>